a sad day. Our bikes have been taken away. Oh, <laughs> don't come off. How's that saddle height? Alice's oh, saddle height. Exactly. Yeah. So what did I learn from my four days at BMC as I get escorted out of the building? Making sure you don't take bikes with you. <laughs> you saw me riding in this morning. What were you thinking? Mm, I was like, tough guy, like really tough guy. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should pick him up. And I was <laughs> shouting at him. <laughs> and he was like, fuck off. Like, <laughs> who are you? I want to see you go up on the curb. Come on. <laughs> Do it. Uh, is this where we say farewell? I hope you were enamored by... Beautiful Grenchen. You made me work. Well, you have to pay for it some way or another. <laughs> Pass on my regards to Alice. And are you escorting me to Veal? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. we I want need to help. make sure that... Uh, That's Swiss hospitality. Yes, dangerous yeah. Switzerland. You're dangerous Switzerland. <laughs> so I'm just at Veal station waiting <laughs> for Alice. We're about to head to Grindle, Grindelwald for the weekend. Jesus Christ, love and warm out your peace of love. Get in peace, one be. If one woman be. Love forever. Woman be love forever. So Alice, we've been getting a few questions about... A skincare routine. Yeah. <laughs> and if BMC had paid for your flights and paid for our holiday external to when I was working there. Oh, like a wag. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice. But all of the cheese, all of the fancy meals, and Lugano and whatever we're doing today and flights for me all of that has been paid for by us. by us yes and what has BMC paid for they paid for the the man of the hour to fly over and did you pay for your flight no BMC paid for the flight BMC paid for my and flight and your accommodation did we fly in business BL. class or our first oh it was a magical flight I had a bad back. I was in a middle seat next to a fat old man who snored from the moment we got on the plane. <laughs> it's not business class. It was horrible. It's the economy. But love and light. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Maybe they'll send me a time machine back to Australia. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> As you were looking out the window with the camera turned <laughs> off, by the way. Addendum. I've been sitting here thinking about all the things you do. It's the same for you, but we do not around. I lose my mind, cause you keep it like a secret. Why won't you reveal it? Just please. This is the Krindelberg. So we have just arrived in Grindelwald. So before Alice and I share with you what we learned from our time at BMC, I wanted to quickly apologize for my lack of content while I've been on the ground at BMC. I was there literally for three and a half days and it was back to back to back shooting. And the only opportunity I had to edit videos was in the evening and I didn't want to be that guy. My wife was here, wanted to go out to dinner, wanted to mingle with some BMC people and build some relationships. So I've got plenty of content coming down the line over the next week or two, just to give you an idea. Alice finally got to ride the bike she's always wanted to ride, the BMC time machine. I went for a ride with AG2R lead out man, Mickey Shah. And I said to him, mate, you're a lead out man can you leave me out but rather than leave me out i'm going to see how long i can hold your wheel for i also got the opportunity to speak to mickey about how training has changed over the past 15 years for the bmc fans a bit of behind the scenes on the impec lab and also history on the bmc team machine and i think there's a few others in there i'm completely flustered it's been a hectic trip i'm looking forward to relaxing in grindelwald and hiking some of these magnificent mountains I've come super prepared for this freezing cold walk. Just Shorts. Wait till she shuts up. Well, Hi. She, she kept going She's on. She's not me either. It's yeah. the voice in there. Shorts and zero grip. Australians. <laughs> That's There's odd. not a single person Negative in five. shorts. Nobody. We've come so far since we began. This This week, actually. <laughs> what are you doing? I love you more each day, and I pray I can push my ego out the way. Let you know it'll be okay. Yeah. Whenever times get rough, you ain't gotta be tough. I find a way to go. 
So we've just been for a magnificent walk in those mountains in Grindelwald waiting for the bus. Alice doesn't want to miss it. So we're just sitting here waiting. I thought I would ask Alice, tell me, you got to spend a full day at BMC. What did you learn? Uh, that they're really good people, that there is a lot of different bikes. And I got to ride the time machine, which we know, and it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> and so I want one. And I've considered taking up riding again just to get a time machine. Well, you know, more riding. So after waiting for the bus for about 40 minutes, we've decided to walk because guess how much it was to travel 6Ks in a town on the bus? Alice, how much was it? 27 franc each. Which each, is which is about 80 bucks Australian to go 6Ks down a hill. This is the problem with Switzerland. It's a beautiful place, but for me, it's pretty expensive. Wash me in the water. Cleanse me in the mercy of your love. I need a heavenly touch. You know, the biggest thing I learned from my time at BMC is I feel like I'm actually walking through a cloud here in Grindelwald. It's bloody amazing, this place. Is Yes, the people were amazing, but I guess you could say that about any brand when you go and visit a head office they've got really good people that work there so for me the biggest takeaway the thing i learned most about bmc is the fact they've got this lab where they used to make bikes the old impec bike which used to cost a lot of money and it became impractical for bmc to continue making that i think around 2016 so as a result of that they were left with this manufacturing facility manufacturing capabilities and now they use this lab to design, test, create, prototype ideas, make iterations, get it right, and then they can take that prototype to one of their partners overseas and says, this is what we want you to make, and this is how you do it. And interestingly, a lot of bike brands, if not all, don't have that capability. So I'm looking forward to sharing that piece of content with you where I'm with the head engineer of BMC going through the Impec lab. So I hit my knees and I'm crying now, please. 